Okay, my friends, it's Roger once again, Mud Fossil University, and in 2016, we started Mud Fossil University. One small step for humankind, one giant leap for the human mind. Now, you guys know that it's mud fossils, and it's giants, and it's all kinds of biology and geology, and all the stuff that they talked about in the past, and now we're finding out a lot of it was tr true. So... I'm trying to teach my mud fossil friends at Mud Fossil University, because you all can come here, it's free, no charge, it's on YouTube, you're here now, and we're going to start right from the basic, basic, basic beginning, because that's how I do everything. I don't take anybody's word for anything, first of all, and I try to study everything from the beginning and then go forward, because if you start in the middle, you, you, you're lost. It's like right now... The scientists don't really understand how gravity works. Why does this thing fall to the earth? Why does an apple fall to the earth like Newton said? They don't even realize how that works. But every day you hear in the news how they're studying wormholes and black holes and all these different exotic things that they, there's no way for them to know. And they don't even understand gravity. So what we need to do is, because I understand gravity, and you will too, it's a very, very, very simple concept. Once you understand the reality of matter, and they do not understand the reality of matter, every single thing there was has a biological origin. What that means is everything there is at one time was alive, or will be alive or has the ability to become alive. Every molecule there is moves from life to life to life to life. And in between, it may be dead. But eventually, it will find a partner that wants it to become part of its life. That is the nature of matter. Now, it works electrically. Now, why? Because in other words, why would he, why would this bump into that and do anything different? All right? In bodies, molecules come together. They touch each other. They bond. They, they change, and they create electrical things. And inside of you is all electricity. That's, you're fully made of electricity. Every time you talk, you think, you move, you act, you have a nerve impulse, you feel anything at all within your body, that's because of electricity. So if you don't understand electricity, you don't even know how you work. <laughs> we got to figure out how you work. So, so let's start with the electricity. Some of it is electricity that comes out of a wall. That's totally different than the electricity that's in a battery. All right? Or the electricity that's in you. The stuff that comes out of the wall is what's called alternating current. It goes back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. We work on direct current. It goes all one direction, all one direction. All batteries go from one direction to the other direction, and they don't go back and forth. We're going to get into that. But coming out of the wall, that electricity just shakes like a, just shakes at 50 or 60 times every second. Just like that. And when it does, that shaking makes things heat up. That's what electricity does that comes out of your wall. Now, let's talk about the different little pieces that make up electricity. Because there's only three pieces that make up electricity. Simple as that. And you'll find this very simple. Okay, I, a very strange thing happened. I'm just getting ready to put this video up. And I get a tip from a friend of mine that tells me about the possibility that, that the handheld devices, like we all have, everything that's a handheld could end up not ever needing batteries. Now, I said, oh, this is interesting. Well, the vibrations that come through the air of the things that turn, make your phone work and all those different things, those are nothing more than frequencies of vibrations in the air. And if you can vibrate a certain material, it will emit electrons, it will emit electricity. We are probably going to show a lot of this coming up, but they're talking about having what's called a recta antenna. 
A rectifier means you take the voltage that's coming in and you turn it into DC voltage. Now, an antenna is an antenna. It receives these shaky little signals. Well, if it can receive them and turn those into electrons, no need for a battery. So let's go into this a little. It's going to maybe be a little confusing. That's okay. Stick with it because it's not going to, I'm going to make it very unconfusing by the time you're done. Believe me, I was confused in the beginning. Everybody will be. It will not be confusing if you stick with it. I could teach this stuff. You can learn it. Okay, my friends. This, I'm sure, looks a little confusing to you. Trust me, it is not confusing at all. Every one of you, I'm sure, knows what a battery is. All right, so here's your little battery. And what do we want to do? We want to turn on a light. Okay, that's the symbol for a light. It's a little round coil like that with little things coming off to show that's a light bulb. So, what do we do with our battery? This plus side is the top with a bump that sticks up, and the minus side is the bottom. So we want to make this minuses, which are all stuck here, even though it says plus, they are up here, and they want to come back to this minus side. All right. Originally, they're all stuck up in here, and I said, boy, we'd like to get over to there. And there's a line in between here, which I should put in there. I think I failed to put my line. Okay, so now we have all our little negatives, and negative is always shown in black. All right, so we have all our little negatives up in here, just zillions of them up in there. They just want to be over here. Because what's over here? Positives. And we know that the positives are always trying to get to the negatives. So all these little guys are like a big ball of them up there. And they say, let me get out of here. Let me get out of here. So there's nowhere to go. There's no circuit. And they say, oh, yes, there is. Look, there's a circuit here. And it goes right around. It's okay, good. Let's go. And they start to go. Now, this is what they call an on-off switch. Everybody knows that. You switch something on, you switch it off. Well, all it does is it jumps across between the break. So you push it down, and it jumps across there, and zoom, those electrons have a place to go. If it was up, you see, it goes up or down. If it was up, there'd be a space, and there's no, they just stop here, nowhere to go. So now you push it down, zip, they go across. Now they come down to this thing here. Now, what is going on there? Why does it light up? Why does that light up and this doesn't light up? Right? This has what's called resistance. Now, we're going to talk about this, and maybe we have already, but this little symbol right there, that means how many ohms of resistance. Resistance is just don't come through here, don't come through here. And it says, how, how much resistance do you have? I've got 10 ohms of resistance, you can't come. And it says, well, what if you had 5 ohms? It says, well, you can come a little bit. And it says, what if you only had 1 ohm? Yeah, well, yeah, most of you guys can come, just a few guys got to stay out. And it says, what if you had no ohms? You'd just be a straight wire. Everybody come, no stopping, everybody come. Come on, come on, come on, come on. That's what's called a conductor. And a conductor is just like on a train. Hey, everybody aboard, let's go. And they all go. Nobody's stopping, just go. But when you have a load like this, that's a load. And it says, whoa, whoa, whoa. Before you get through here, you're going to have to glow me up so that I radiate. And it says, well, how much, how hard am I going to have to push? It says, well, I got 1.5 ohms of resistance. So once you push hard enough, I'll start glowing. Everything will be fine. Just keep going. So they push, 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 and all of a sudden the glow starts going because that's all electricity is, is push against one thing against another. Every energy action is that in, in its basic form. Every single energy action is something pushing against something else. We'll go through this and we'll understand it very well by the time you're done. So what happened? The little black guys, the little electrons, say, let's go, and they get through, they, and that thing glows like crazy, and, and they come back here, and then the little black ones say, oh, thank God I found you, and then they hook up with the little red ones, and then they are neutral. Before that, they have a strong polarity. And a polarity means I want to go from this pole to that pole, and I can't get through here. So I have to go through a circuit. 
Now, remember this. Electrons flow exactly like water, exactly identical to water. Through this circuit, if that was a tube, because you have to have an insulation around that. You can't just have a wire that would just sort of not work well because it would the, the electrons that were inside would get out. Just like if you had a tube and there was holes all over the tube or you didn't even have a tube and it just water would just run everywhere. So you have to have a tube just like we would require for water. The tube will go through the water just like that and comes back. And if you put a paddle wheel in the middle it would go zzzz and spin it and that paddle wheel could drive a little electric motor and that motor would glow. So that would be your load. What you have to do is think, uh, if you were an electron, how would you, what would you do coming out of here? And you want to get over to this side. All right, you'd have to push everybody out of your way. Get out of the way, get out of the way, i got to get over to this guy. Because these guys are just sitting here, they're just doing nothing. That's what their job is, to lay around and be conductors. And this guy comes, he says, i got to get around to that guy, to this side. He said, well, push, just push as hard as you can push, and they do. And I'll show you, because light is exactly like electricity. Light is electricity. You can see light, but it is electricity. Electricity inside of a wire, you don't see it because it's inside the wire, but it has the same exact characteristics. The same, it, it, it is the same as light, but it's stuck inside that wire. And I'll show you why I can say that, and, and then you see if you think it makes sense. All right? But we can actually tell Based on these numbers, there's an actual, what they call a formula. And a formula means if you know the certain values, how much, how much voltage, how much load, how much resistance, how much size of the wire, if we know all those things, we could tell how much water is flowing through there, which is just the electrons. Just like we could tell how much water is flowing through the pipe coming into your house. This is virtually no difference whatsoever. Except these are very, very fast, high-powered, where water is just a real slow form of electricity. And we can think of it that way, because water has a positive and a negative side to it. Every little piece of water is called a molecule, and it's called H2O. And when you take that molecule, it has a positive and a negative side, just like a battery. And it flows through just like a battery does in a circuit. Water is very, very, very similar to electricity. And we'll see this as we go along. Don't get too concerned about what you're seeing now. You have to, I'm going to take this as a very long, long learning process for you guys. Because you have to start from the beginning. Don't miss this first part. Because if you don't understand how the little molecules move and attach to each other and don't want to attach to each other, and because that's how they end up turning into into rocks, and how they turn into to all different things. You see that that was alive once. You see that that's blood. That's where the blood was. This this is what happens to things as they decay. That is the last little bit of bone. And that whole, this was a toe. Believe it or not, that was a toe. And that was the, uh, the toe goes this way, and this is the tip of the toe. And this is where the, I believe this is the um, arterial side, and this is the vein side that doesn't blow out. Arterial side does, and you lose some of the edge. All right, so we know about mud fossils. And now we're going to learn how that turned into metal. Because it turned into metal based on electricity. All right? This is what happens in the ground. And the geologists right now, they're not really on top of this yet. You guys are going to actually be the ones that are going to train them. You want to see something cool? <laughs> this is a guy's toe. You see that? That's the, that's the callus on his toe. That's the top. This is the blood. It was a big toe. And that's the callus. That is the callus on the side. And you see all these shiny looking flakes? This is the same thing This will happen as happened to this one. And eventually, they'll actually turn like this. This is one that has gone away from everything. See these little pock marks? Those are where the blood was. Believe it or not, that was, I believe, was a toe. And that's how they decay.
And we're going to learn all this stuff. We're going to have a great time. Here, here's a finger. That's a finger. All right, and that's where the blood blew out of the finger. Because it blows out where the weak spot in the, in the tissue is. Now, we're going to learn all of this and all the reasons why these things... Here's another toe that turned into metal. And that, I believe, was where the callus was on that toe. It's a whole new world we're looking at now because they didn't understand what geology was from living things. And you'll be the first ones to understand that. So, it's will be a little confusing in the beginning, but just stay with me. I'm going to try to go as slow as I can go. And we're going to learn, and the next thing we're going to learn is um, we're going to go into the actual electricity, the current, the amperage, the voltage, the resistance. We'll know everything about it. And trust me, you are going to have fun, because I am going to have fun.